Good evening, everyone. I decided to get on here and do a little spell work for you this evening. This is a Saturday night, and the moon is wanting, and it is Saturn day. So this is a perfect evening for bindings, banishings, ridding ourselves of the negativity, and even doing curses and hexes, if that's what is required. So I thought I'd get on here. I'm going to do a karma spell. This is a simple, good old fashioned spell to send the karma back to someone who has been deeply hurt. So I'm going to sit down here and get started. I have my altar all set up and I have already casted this spell. Um, but I have not burned the petition yet. So I'm going to walk you through this. Like I said, this is a karma spell to send the karma back. Okay, so before we start, I have a black candle sitting in my cauldron. This is my little white cauldron that I use from time to time. Um, like I said, I have things packed, so I using what I was on hand. I also have a black candle sitting inside this. So before we start, we always dress our candle. Take a nail file or a knife and you inscribe the name of the person you want to send the karma back to. This can be for someone who has hurt you or it can be for someone who has hurt someone you care about deeply and you're going to inscribe their name on this. Put your intent, hold the candle in your hand for a good 10, 15 minutes and consecrate it. Put your energy into it, what you want to happen. What do you want the outcome to be? And then when you're done, you can even use a chime candle. It doesn't have to be this type of candle. This is what I had on hand, so I'm using it. This is a little vat of candle, black, but chime candles will work just as well. And then you want to take your candle and dress it, and you're gonna dress it away because you're sending that energy away. The negative goes away from you. I, the candle that's burning in here, I used my own homemade hot pepper, hot foot oil. And you can use hot foot oil. You can use an oil that's called cast of evil to send the evil away. A couple of different oils, but either a hot foot oil or a cast of evil oil will do very well for a spell like this. They also have karma oil. If you have Capricorn oil, Capricorn oil or Saturn oil will work very well too because that is karma oil. Okay. And I've taken this spell a little step further. For those of you who watch my YouTube page, you know why I'm doing this. Um, I have incorporated inside the jar, inside the cauldron, a little bit of graveyard dirt. Now, this doesn't mean I want the practitioner or the, the person to, to die. That's not what I'm going with this, but um I'm doing this spell because the person who wanted me to make them go away so he never has to hear from them again, that's what this graveyard dirt is going to do, is going to make his wish come true. It will not cause them too much harm. They are going to get their karma for what they have done, but um, in no way is it to harm or take a life, okay? This is not black magic. This is a gray magic area. Um, I'm not a practitioner of black or white magic, but I always believe in those shades of gray. So yes, this is a gray magic spell. And I have my incense lit. I always light my, my candles from left to right. You always light the god and the goddess candle, so from left to write and these are all my extra candles my incense for the evening i have lit is sandalwood that does not necessarily have to be 
the incense you use. You can use um, sage if you want because that is protection and cleansing. I decided to use sandalwood because it is protection. And this is also Saturday. And so I am working with a little more Luciferian energy, so to speak. So that's why I've incorporated the sandalwood. I also have a petition here with the, I'm not going to go too close, but the practitioner's names written, not the practitioner, but the, the subject at hand is what I should say. I also have a little uh, stone of onyx sitting on top of that. Now that is to... Onyx is great for releasing the low negative vibrations of things, and I'm doing this for another person, not for myself. So I'm ridding the negative vibrations of this experience for him, okay? And once you have lit all your candles and you've lit your main candle, put that there. And you always take it with a black Sharpie. For banishing, I always feel that the color of the pen is an important thing. So if you were doing a love spell, you would do it for you would do it in red. Obviously, we wouldn't be doing a love spell in a wanting moon phase. But if we were, hypothetically, it'd be red. But I'm doing a binding and banishing, so I'm using black. If you were doing money, it would be green. Um, a luck spell, it would be orange. So and then you say a chant, and you're going to repeat this chant three times and meditate on it. And you're going to, you can go ahead and say, I call upon the karmic wheel. So their fate I might seal. Let that which have been done to me or the other person, so you could say their name, shall be done to them. And you say their name. Or names. Feel that my pain magnified by three. This is my will, so mote it be. I call upon the karmic wheel, so their fate I might seal. Let that which they have done to me shall be done to you. And you mention their name. Feel my pain magnified by three. This is my will, so mote it be. I call upon the karmic wheel, so their fate I might seal. Let that which they have done to me shall be done to you. Feel my pain magnified by three. This is my will. So mote it be. And once you've said that chant three times and you've meditated and you've really focused, you can go ahead and take that, you take that onyx that you have, hold it in your left hand, heart and center. The left is the heart hand. Take your petition in your right and light that sucker on fire. And while it's burning, you can say, you know, you will not harm me or hurt me anymore. May the karma come back to you times three. This is my wish, so mote it be. You can add a little more to your chant while it's burning and let that sit in the graveyard dirt and burn, baby, burn. Kind of take the onyx and I let the burn kind of go over that a little bit. And then you want to keep this by your bedside at night. 
so for example, this stone that I have, I will be giving it to the person I'm doing this spell for. And they will keep this by their bedside at night. So I'll put that over here with the rest of my stones. And that is a simple spell for the karmic wheel. And it just pushes karma along a little bit. Like I said, it's not black magic, it's not white magic, it's for those shades of gray. And this is just to pull, push the karma ahead in some ways. And at the end of your right, you always thank the deities or spirits that um, you are working with. Um, every, everybody has their own path. So ever have any questions don't feel free to um, ask me you can contact me at astrologywitch22 at gmail.com or you can check out my website astrologywitch at astrologywitch.com and if you like this video please give us a like it's much appreciated you guys have a wonderful and blessed saturday night and i'll see you soon blessed be